Oh, I got a good one, dude. I got a big one. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Dude. That was sweet. It's a nice one. What? What? Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, you got a tank. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. Today we're doing some pond fishing, but before we even hop into that, I dropped more combos on the website, guys. We got the Kicking Their Bass combos on kickingtheirbass.com. Link is down below. You guys have been tearing up the spinning rods too, man. Uh, I was surprised at how many people ended up getting themselves a spinning rod, but we added a lot of rods to the website, so you guys should be good. Um, like I said, only on kickingtheirbass.com. You guys can go check them out. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys that have purchased the combo. And these rods will ship out within seven to 10 business days. So um, if you guys wanna get one, go ahead down below. But we're gonna go ahead and get started today cover a lot of water at these ponds and more importantly try to catch a double digit bass the last time we came out here i actually ended up hooking into a double digit on a jerk bait it was a crazy fight we'll go ahead and roll that clip right now i just don't see that this bait can go by a fish's nose right now and then not eat it uh-oh dude that's a monster cody monster I can't even move them. Oh my, it, this might be my PB. Oh my gosh, it's a 10 pounder, bro. It's a 10 pounder, Cody. Oh my gosh, dude, that might be bigger. Holy. Dude, how big is that? Is that a 10? Dude, that's a 10. <laughs> My shoe is soaked. I stepped right in the water to get this sucker. He was barely hooked. Look at that brute, bro. But yeah, there's some big fish in here and I got a special guest with me today. We got, got to show him on the camera. He doesn't really know how to fish. He's only been once or twice, but you know, maybe he'll luck into a big one today. We'll see. What's poppin' people? You know, big boys here having some fun. About to put the whooping on Noah so you guys stay tuned. Watch that. Go check out Big Boy's channel, WFO Steve. You know, just out there having fun. I'm just glad to be out here with my boy. Yeah, no, I'm ready. I'm gonna get my you. first shot at the Kicking Their Bass TV rod and reel today. I'm excited about that one. It's the only way you're gonna catch your PV. You gotta pick up that rod, man. It's a lucky combo, ain't it? it I've seen so <laughs> many people, dude, seriously, I've seen, so I get so many DMs every single day and they're like, dude, I got my PV on the rod. They're like, oh, it's a lucky rod. That's awesome. <laughs> but no, it's that's just sweet. amazing. No, that's dope, but. They look beautiful. Yeah, no, I think it's gonna be good today. If you guys are wondering what I'm throwing, I got a little rage crawl on here for a slow moving bait. Um, on this rod, Connor, you know, Connor we fished with a couple episodes ago and he left his bait on here. This is actually a wake bait by Strike King. If you wanna get a discount on any of the baits I use, I have my link and code down below. But this bait right here, he was burning it like a crankbait. He wasn't working it at the top, he was just ripping it. And he had some really big fish come up for it. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna cut it off. Um, this one's for you, Connor. I'm gonna give it a shot this morning. Let's see if we can get a big one on it. If we don't get anything, I'm probably gonna put on a jerk bait. Got a lot of wind today. And I think we might be able to hook a big one. Cause last time, that's what we caught that big boy on. And I'm feeling it, that jerk bait catches him. But let's go ahead and get it started. All right guys, we're gonna get started with this little wake bait. I might, I don't know if I'm gonna work it like a wake bait though. I might burn it. See, that's what Connor was doing. He was just, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a good one. There's one with it. Oh my gosh, that's a nice fish. Look, I hooked him right under this, this gill, right in his belly. As I was talking to the camera, it just happened, guys. That was wild. I was like, yeah, Connor is just burning it like this. Maybe that's the trick, Cody. These fish might be really finicky today, but what I've realized with finicky bass, especially bluebird skies like today, you'd think to throw a little crawler or a worm, but let me tell you, something about a crankbait triggers these bass to bite. 
So with it being a tough day, this might be a really good bait to throw and kind of get that reaction bite, you know, so these fish aren't slow because he turned on that thing good. But look at that, that's a solid bass right there. I wouldn't say he's quite three pounds, but he is close and he's a healthy one too. That is sweet. Let's get him back in the water. All right, baby, thank you for biting. We got it started really quick here. That's a good little sign, a little fat, fat belly bass. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Whew. Give me some. That was legit, dude, right, right off the rip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Steve. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, baby. Dude, I, I really think I should grab the scale. Go get it. Well, Big Steve just got him like a six pounder, I believe. I'm gonna run back to the car and grab the scale because I know you guys love him way. I didn't want to carry it with me because I have the worst luck when I have a scale. I don't know what it is. We won't catch nothing if I had that thing in my pocket. Oh, I'm more now. Now we go back. It's a big one, dude. He's a nice I can one. barely hold it up. All right, we're zeroed out on the scale. What does it say? Five something? Five, two, four. Five, two, four. Five, two, four. Well, start off with a five pounder. That ain't too bad, is it? I got me like a little two high two pounder a second ago and then big steve just happened to hook this tank man beautiful bass bucket mouth it's a good fish but let's uh let's go ahead and get him back in the water you're good big steve five two four right on it's a big bass that's what i'm talking about what's your pb power steve? baby power what's your current pb nine pounds thanks to noah nine pounds today. not official but all right, back to what we were doing. Burning this dang thing. I don't know if you guys remember, we filmed the swim bait video out here and I had a big boy come out from that pipe and slam it. Burning this sucker. Nice one. Not a big one, but that's a nice fish. That's a good one. Burning that sucker, man. Connor might be on to something with this. Yeah, he ain't even two pounds. Maybe he is. Yeah, he ain't even two. About a pound and a half. Nice little bass. You don't have too thick of a belly on him. <laughs> Dude, burning that thing, man. I don't know what it is. But I never thought about burning a wake bait. A work, wake bait, you're supposed to work really slow. But it's kind of it's kind of good for these ponds if you think about it throwing a wake bait like that because a lot of these ponds are shallow they got a lot of grass in them even when you burn this wake bait it only stays about six to eight inches below the surface so you can really hone in with this thing and not get caught up a pretty little bass it's fish number three today not a big one but it's fun to catch him that was a good bite thank you baby she goes Second fish for me, three fish overall, not a bad start. I'm gonna keep on burning this thing, guys. This might be, <laughs> this might be something, man. Let me tell you. I don't think these fish are active either. I think they're slow. That cold front that blew through, I think these fish got a little weird. But if this thing goes past their face, just creates that reaction bite, gets them angry. Come on, baby. Let's see, big girl. Coming out of my mouth. Gosh, they're eating this sucker. Oh, that's a two pounder. Thank you, buddy. Look how he ate that thing too. That's exactly how you want them bass to eat a bait, just like that. Today it's gonna be a little rough. I don't know where my pliers are. All right, boys and girls, that's fish number four of the day. Fish number three on the Burning the wake bait strategy. 
This fish choked this thing too. There he goes. Beautiful little fish. Heck yeah, we have a good little start to today. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's our biggest. Oh, baby. She's getting crazy. I don't know if she's four. I think it's a three pounder. I ain't. Is she even that big? It's a two pounder. A fat, thick mama two pounder. Look at that one. They're hammering this sucker. It's funny because you reel it so fast, you have a few that have just choked it. Then you have a couple that you can tell just side swipe that sucker. That's a good little fish. He looked a lot bigger jumping, didn't he, Cody? Yeah, he did. Looks like he was dang four pounds, but I'll take a solid two and a half, two and three quarter pounder all day. That's a thick monkey. Woo! I'm excited for this bite. This is just, uh, I really didn't expect that bait to just start hammering him like that, but that is a slab. Thank you, buddy. All right. Dude, he's a fat belly bass, dude. Big old thick back on him. There you go. That was a good fish, man. What are we on? Like five? Five on that. And Big Steve better watch out. Well, we're on Y'all. four. I think five with Steve. So. Is it five? Well, no, I, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, four yeah. On that one. Yeah, you're right. Not bad, dude. We, we caught more fish than we did that whole entire time last time, so can't complain. You're telling me you don't smell that, Dad? What? Turtle? You're telling me you don't smell that? Hey, I got a small one. Squeaky. Dang, boy. That's, ooh. Let's turn around and talk to Big Steve. And I let the bait just stop. I was burning it and I stopped it and he ate it. Maybe that's, that's what we need to be doing. When you burn it fast and give it little sporadic stops like that, maybe that trigger them bass to commit. It's a little tiny guy though. Thank you, bud. Fish number six. Well, you got two now. Your other fish could eat that One fish. And a half. <laughs> yeah, a half fish. Nice. He come all the way up on the shore to get that thing. I saw it. I, I thought you had a log for a second. He was peak. No, he came in and clobbered it right at the edge right there. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Good old trusty There you go. There you go, guys. Steve's third fish. Really? I got a good one, dude. I got a big one. I think. I think he's big. I can't tell, dude. I can't move him, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, my gosh. There he is. Let's get it, baby. Not a giant, but he's a good one. Gosh. Yeah. Look at that one. Good three pounder, just thick, just a brute. Look at that. It's a good three pounder. Look how thick that fish is. That's a thick bass. Thick boy. Look at that brute. That's a brute. Solid three pounder. I couldn't tell how big he was when I was fighting him, but that is a pretty slab right there. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Oh, oh. Dude. That was sweet. It's a nice one. Hammered it. Solid three pounder. Let's go. That's a good fish. 
go, baby. Look at that one. These are some fat brutes, man. You can tell we're getting into this fall time, man. These fish are eating bait, feeding up on some shad, man. They're just thick, good, healthy fish. And they are smoking this wake bait, burning it like a crankbait. Craziest thing. This might be some pond juice, I'm not gonna lie. Just because you don't get that grass on that bait, it, gets, it just stays six to eight inches under the water. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for biting. Pretty little fish. There it goes. Oh! There he is. Not a big one, but a nice one. Come here, Jimmy Bob. A little two pounder. Look at that. That's how they're supposed to eat it right there. <laughs> Dude, they love this thing, man. I've never. I really do believe, too, guys, if I wasn't throwing this bait, I think we'd probably have five fish right now, max. I mean, I, I just think this is just the trick right now. Get that reaction, get them a little angry. And these fish are just brutes, you can tell. Some fall bass, man. Chewing up on them bait fish, getting all fat for the winter. Pretty bass. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. What number is that? This is number, shoot, dude, I don't even know. We're probably at 10 now. Nine or 10. We're, 10, we're I, think. I think we're over 10. I caught two over there. He's caught three, that's five. I had five before. Yeah, hey, we're about 10, 10, 11 fish. Pretty one. There he goes. Sweet. You got a big one? I just walked away. I gave him my bait. Oh my gosh, how big is he? Is it like a, over five? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, you got a tank. Oh, oh. shit, right on a rope. Oh. You got the jumper on? Yeah, that's a good one. It's another five pounder. Woo. Oh, he just came off. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's a six that's a that's six close. that other one was a five this is a dang six look at that one boys Whoo! that's a toad dude <laughs> that was worth the wait big yeah boy. you I've see how they loaded I've up on patiently that patiently waiting yeah that bait's fun man. that's a six dude it's gotta be gotta be a six you never know when daddy van dan's gonna get it done dude that's a tank i don't know <laughs> Uh, that's it's got to be over six. I don't believe it's five. That other one is five and a quarter. This one has to be over six. This one's bigger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Six three zero. Six three zero. Six two eight. Yeah. Six three zero. Dude, that's a freaking tank. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's a good Woo. one. <laughs> Look at that, Daddy Van Dam. Got him a freaking two two slobs today. This is your fourth fish, but you caught two out of the four were freaking tanks. I gave him my, my little wake bait to throw, and that's a good one, man. Almost a six and a half pounder. Slobber donkey. Si almost six and a half. Nice. Yeah, that's a tank, dude. Yeah, that's a big boy. Yeah. I'm about to say that one has to be six. I didn't get a good look at that first one, but yeah. Well, that's sweet. Big Steve, that's what he wanted. I tried to take him out on the boat. I was like, hey man, like, let's go out on the Geechee and go catch some bass. Maybe try to go catch some reds and flounder and whatever really bites. And he told me, he's like, man, I don't want to go out there. He's like, I want to go out to a pond that has some big fish. I was like, all right, we can come out here. And he was like, I want to catch five pounder. And he ended up catching a five and a six. So that's, that's sweet. I didn't get any big ones today, man. I, I mean, I caught some good fish. Like some good three, three to three and a half pound fish, like a ton of them, but I never got that five plus. I had that one on at the beginning that was about that size, but it's been a little weird. Halloween came early. Is Halloween tomorrow? Yeah. Oh well, my Sunday. God, dude, I just don't even have a life. It's on Sunday. Oh, Halloween Sunday. Oh God, bro. Whoa, what? Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh gosh, dude. Oh, it came off. No, he didn't. He just came off. Oh, 
Did you see that? That was a six, that was a six plus. Well, guys, we're going to end off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Go check out the rods. Link down below. Kickingtheirbass.com. I'd greatly appreciate it. Had Big Steve on the channel today, and his main goal was to catch a five pounder, which he made it happen. So, called a five, a six, and a three. If you guys enjoyed it, like I said, hit the like button. Go check out Big Steve's channel down below. I appreciate the love and support. I'll catch you all in the next video. Hashtag bring dad back. You know what I'm saying?